Hey Euroboxers, it's Jess here in London and we are here with Michael Schulze. Schulte. Schulte. Well, yeah, you can say <laughs> however you want. Okay, Michael Schulte from Germany. Yes, hello. Hello, how are you today? I'm really good, what about you? I'm very good, thank you. So how are you enjoying your time in London? I'm really enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Many cool people and I have the chance to meet the other artists from mm -hmm. the other countries. Not everyone is here, but a, a lot of cool artists mm -hmm. are here and the sun is shining and I love yeah. London, so it's a good day. So is this your first time to London? No. I've been here like seven or eight times, okay. uh, mostly for songwriting sessions. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So now we know back in Germany, um, your career really kick-started after you appeared on The Voice yes. in Germany. Yeah. Um, so what was that experience like for you and how has that helped you now? Well, I was, I was much younger back then, I think it's almost seven years ago and back then it was a, a great experience because I was quite young and um, it was the first time for me being in television and in front of so many people and um, I've, I've grown a lot, I've, I've, I'm another person now and uh, I'm much stronger I'd say mental and um, I would say back then I wouldn't uh, be at the, at the right moment to mm -hmm. be part of your vision because mm -hmm. back then it's I was quite young and but now I'm almost 28 and um, it's the right moment to be part of your vision because I think you have to be strong because it's it's yeah. it's an av adventure and it's very exciting but it's also a lot to take and um, I'm really looking forward to to everything now. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. Um, so, how did your vision come into your life then? Was it something you'd always dreamt of doing, or? Mm. Was it quite spontaneous? I think there is not one Eurovision that I didn't watch. So I'm, okay. a, I'm a Eurovision fan. We've always watched Eurovision when I was a child. Mm -hmm. um, and always loved, especially the moment uh, when the points uh, would, uh, would come, because that's very exciting. And I've always like, had in mind what it would be like to, to be at Eurovision mm -hmm. myself. Uh, to perform for Germany but I never really imagined that it would really happen at some mm -hmm. point but because there is such a tiny chance of course. Um, with 80 million people in Germany to really be that one artist um, going through Eurovision but just like in November last year I thought well maybe just try it out and it went out very good and now I'm a part of it. Of course it turned out very well yeah, for you. True, yeah. <laughs> um, now your song can you tell us a bit more about it? Yeah. Well, my song is called "You Let Me Walk Alone." Um, it's a song. <clears throat> it's a song about my father, or for my father, about the loss of my father who, who died 13 years ago, and it's therefore very personal and emotional. And I just hope that I will um, that people listening to the song also on, on May 12th will feel what I'm trying to say with the song. Mm -hmm. We hope so too. Yeah. Um, so what can we expect from you in Lisbon? Will you be alone on stage? Will you Today have or tonight? Or in, Lisbon? in Lisbon. I'll be alone on stage, mm -hmm. yeah. It will be quite similar to the uh, performance I did on pre-selection okay. on national TV. Um, we will change a few things, but as it's a very intimate ballad, mm -hmm. we won't do fireworks and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, um, so in more recent years, Germany hasn't, you know, managed to do very well yeah. in Eurovision, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so, what are your kind of expectations for Lisbon? I mean, do you feel any pressure to get a good result for Germany, or? I don't feel any pressure at all. I mean, I, me personally, I don't have anything to do with the other artists or what yeah. they did there. It, I thought it was uh, great artists and also good songs. We it was agree. Un un <laughs> unfortunate that they didn't do that as well. Um, but <clears throat> on the other hand, can't really be any worse. So there is uh, not uh, such a big pressure. And on the other hand, I'm, I'm really optimistic, mm -hmm. and I'm also hearing what people say all around. And um, they say that they don't think I will do um, as bad as uh, the other contestants from last year's. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how good it will be at the end. I mean, it, it, the top 10 would be amazing and totally crazy and good for Germany as well to finally get a good result. Um, but we will see on, on, on the 12th of May because it's all about the performance on that evening, mm -hmm. I think. 
I think everything can change and maybe someone that's like the favorite can also with a bad performance go down and another one with a good performance can uh, all of a sudden be, be right uh, up, uh, up, up on top but we'll course. see. Well we hope you get lots of points. <laughs> hope so too, yeah. Um, and before we go we are trying to get to know some of our Eurovision artists a little bit better. Yeah. So we've got some more kind of fun questions for you. Um, the first of which would be, if you could have any superpower, what superpower would it be? I would love to fly, be able okay. to fly. It's something I dream about a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't always remember what I'm dreaming about, but I can always remember when I'm flying. It's not flying in a plane, but like okay. yeah. as, a, as a bird. That would be amazing. <laughs> Where would you fly to? I would probably fly to a warm place mm -hmm. where the sun is shining. doesn't matter where, at the beach, something I like. Okay, that sounds nice. <laughs> and to finish things off, what's the craziest thing you've ever done in your life? Besides Eurovision. Craziest thing? I think the, the paragliding that I did for my postcard in Madeira. Wow, I went paragliding. Went paragliding? Yeah, I think that was... Uh, wow. I don't know if it was the most uh, crazy thing I did, but it was pretty crazy and an uh, um, amazing experience and, and pretty close to what I'm wishing for okay. uh, flying so <laughs> it was amazing yeah. so was it scary up there paragliding once we were up no but the start was a bit scary because it's like okay are we gonna get up or are we gonna <laughs> crash down and and is the wind uh, good for uh -huh. for the paragliding but it went all good and once we were up we were staying in the air for like 20 minutes or so it was just amazing Okay, well, it's been lovely talking to you and we wish you all the best of luck tonight and in Lisbon. Thank you. And do you have a quick message for our readers back home? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm looking forward to Lisbon and I hope to see some of you guys there. I guess some of them will be in Lisbon. Yes, I'm Ho sure. Uh, hopefully, and we'll uh, have a chance to talk and um, just see each other in Lisbon and enjoy the days and um, adventure. That's the first time for me and I guess for you not the first time for most of you. Yeah. Really looking forward to it. Thank you very much.